Okay, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to our lab, live session, uh, April 13, 3 o'clock, 8 minutes, 3.08. Okay, uh, attendance. Asia. Amna. Bashaya. Salim. Ahad. Salim Al-Habsi. Awanis. Mira, Nauras, Nauras Alamani, Nauras Alkindi, Nauras Jabri, Call your name, Fahad. Uh, I did. I called your name after Eileen Fahad. Okay, so let's start with. start with uh, showing you the email I sent you last night um, so for today these are the things that we're going to do for this online class or online live session uh, question and answer for exercise 3 any question for exercise 3 anybody will have a question for exercise 3 our deadline is until tonight only 11 59 p.m. Okay, nine. I time just came. Okay, no question. Question uh, exercise three, sort and filter. Do you have any question?
Kainan. So, let's proceed. Okay, so what's our next agenda? Our next agenda, discussion of Geotech Online Classes Guidelines. So I'm not sure if you have received, uh, please type yes, uh, if you have received the online guidelines, uh, class online class guidelines that came from Dr. Armin. So did you receive it through your email? reply did you receive Dr. Armin's email regarding online classes regulations for online teaching at Geotech it was sent to all students Okay, if you didn't receive that, nobody wants to reply, or maybe Okay, did you receive this? Did you receive the one you can see from the screen? Am I talking to anybody? Is there anybody here? Laura said yes, as Jan said yes. The only way that you can communicate with me, I mean, you can talk to me is through uh, through the chat because you don't want to turn on your microphones. If you want to ask something, you can raise your hand. I will turn on your microphone. So that at least I can hear your voices, your voice. Okay. So if you receive the file, let me just uh, go on to some important points. Okay. When the first item one, GU Tech uses asynchronous online teaching for classes during spring semester 2020 until further notice. Asynchronous means um, uh, we don't have to be live all the time like uh like in the it when i thought you of a synchronous transmission like when i send a message you don't have to reply in real time so that's asynchronous so that's why in advanced excel my um my technique is upload visual lessons okay upload exercises you submit it if you have questions then you can answer that uh, during our live session, sessions and some of you are calling me or sending me email even though it is night live session even though it is uh, at night so that's fine as long as I have time I will answer you I will call you I'll answer your call okay so number two no live stream lectures are held except for language courses so that means that if I have a video lesson I cannot do it live session like i set up a time three to four i have a lecture there and then after that uh if you're absent then you haven't listened so that's what the meaning of number two number three all lectures are recorded and uploaded in moodle with supporting materials students can stream them or download them whenever they have internet access so moodle so uh number three says whenever they have internet access because we have to understand not all of the students um have uh prepared for the uh having online class especially foundation students um so but or 
also first year level one students. When you are in level two, three, four, you will find out that this internet broadband connection is necessary. Uh, so you have to pressure your parents, okay? But that will be uh, a year after. So anyway, I think those who are attending right now, they are they have broadband at home. So only Q and A sessions, live or chat live or by chat will be provided by instructors during some of the time slots already allocated to courses in the timetable. These sessions are also recorded and uploaded to Mudan. So as you can see here that the wordings are uh, some of the time slots. It didn't say every time slots or all the time. So we can have a meeting. It depends on your uh, professor or your teacher. So for me, as I said from the beginning, we will do the online classes Monday and Wednesday, one hour each. Okay, it should not uh, uh, clash with other time timing because, as I understand, life skills courses as are in Monday and Wednesday, and you're only given one life skills course per semester. So my Monday and Wednesday is free. For your timetable except you have a workshop but right now there is no workshop there's no laboratory classes like chemistry physics or engineering workshop whatever you're doing in the workshop at engineering so i don't think it will uh, clash with our uh timing okay so no midterm exams are given other assignments will be used instead pg projects reports essays but let's continue. Number six, appropriate assessments that meet COVID-19 restrictions are offered in all courses. They are designed such that students have enough time to compete them, even with limited internet access. As assessment components may change, the calculation of the final course grade may need to be adjusted after, adjusted after discussion with the head of department. Uh, this is supervision, so let's skip that. Uh, nine, this is also... Students who fail assessments will be offered repeats under the usual geotech practice. So it depends. Let's say, um, okay, I'll discuss everything once we go to that main point. Any announcements by geotech need to be made by email well in advance, at least 48 hours of any deadline in consideration of, consideration of students with infrequent internet access. Hello, I gave you two weeks for the exercise, but I'll discuss this again later on. Books currently on loan do not need to be returned to the library at the end of the borrowing. This is common sense. When we return back, it's the time you're going to return your books. Theor theoretical cases may be front-loaded and may be completed before the end of the semester. Final exams might be replaced with alternative, alternate ass assessments during the semester or maybe held during the final exam period. Uh, uh, courses with significant practical components will be offered once the university is again open. So again, this is uh, like engineering workshop or CAD. I don't know, maybe CAD, it depends. Maybe you don't have software. Uh, the one that you're going to use in the workshop, or going to do in the workshop, that's the, that, the, these are the courses. Um, chemistry laboratories, I think it's not possible to be online. Physics lab, if you have, maybe you finished that already. So anyway, so, but Excel, we can do it online. This is IT. And like CAD, it depends on the software if you are uh, it's available on your laptop but excel you can do it i mean there is even some we're not restricted to using the current or the latest 2016 version so if you have 2013 that's fine if you have 2010 that's fine there's just little uh, uh changes on those uh, versions uh, the regular grading type as defined in the course specification will be used. However, students have seven calendar days after the release of the final overall percentage grade of a course request that the grade may be converted into pass or fail grade. Late requests will not be considered. I think this is for bachelor 
uh, some of the cases um, some of the cases this is applicable but i'm not sure what are those cases uh, students who fail a course after repeat assessments may have the exceptional opportunity to take a third assessment. The decision to offer this exceptional third assessment will be taken under the usual geotech practice. So, uh, I'll discuss this in one, one go. Okay, so just remember number 17. Everything is actually tentative. So, until further notice, this all of this written guidance will be changed. Uh, the final exam period remains the same as pre previously planned, June 14 to July 2. The Board of Examiners Week remains the same as previously planned, July 5 to July 9. The repeat exam period as planned. Internships may take place in the summer as usual. The first day of teaching of the winter semester remains to be September 2020. 2020. So nothing has been changed in the calendar as for now. Okay, so everything will be discussed. Uh, I mean, everything will be updated as we progress. So I left some of this, like no midterm exams are given. So in Excel, we don't have a midterm. We have activity and projects. Okay, now the question mark is the final exam. When will be the final exam? As for now, we agreed that it will be on the 15th week. Uh, let me. Oh no, we we agreed it will be should be on the fourteenth week, and that's the. During our orientation, this is what I'm talking about. We discuss that the finals. I'm targeting the fourteenth week. Okay, so that will be May 31, end of May. So we are now on 13th of April, so one month. Oh, no, 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 one and a half months, six weeks. Six weeks from now. Okay, supposed to be that's the plan. Okay, that's the plan. That's our original plan. So don't worry about that. Uh, can you see it here? Okay, so the ca calendar is May 31, so until the first week of June. So this is around where I, uh, I was planning to have our final exam. Okay, but in case we will not be realistic on that, then I will ask my head of department, I will ask the life skills coordinator and even the uh, Dr. Armin that I will cancel the final exam. Okay, so it depends again on the situation. We will have uh, to know everything first, but uh, for now, assume that we have a final exam. Okay, so we will see about that. We will see about the uh, final exam. So my uh, approach also is in the 19th, uh, number 13, you can see here, theoretical courses may be front loaded and may be completed before the end of the semester. So final exams might be replaced with alternative, alternate assessments during the semester or may be held during the final exam period. So I will check if I can, we can have a final exam. That's my preference. My, prior, my preference is to have a final exam. Okay, just uh, as what we have discussed in the orientation, 25% activity, 25% project, then 50% final exam. Now, in case this will not be over soon and final exam period will be affected and so on, then that's the time we're going to have to decide if the final exam will be cancelled. So as I'm telling you, you have to listen to us. Do not assume that there is no final exam yet. Okay? The decision will come from the teacher with the approval of the higher administration, head of department and academic affairs. Okay, so I show. I hope that that is uh, clear. Uh, um, now, in case there would be final exam, in case there would be a final exam, 
uh, it is mentioned here to students who fail a course after repeat assessment. So let's say there's a final exam and then you fail. Uh, I will give you a chance for a repeat exam. Okay, so there is now this condition of having repeat exam. Okay, so but these are just students who were given a chance in uh, 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 a very clear case of excuses. So if there are excuses really, then we can get the repeat assessments. Another thing is that the qualification for repeat exam is that if you take the final exam as a repeat, and then you have the chance to pass. Okay, remember that's what geotech's uh, policy is uh, uh, for repeating exam is. Let's say we go to the board of examiner and then they uh, we 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 found out that this student, if he, they he repeat the final exam, he will have a chance to pass the course. Okay, so we give them repeat exam. Okay, but that's on a case-to-case -case basis. It's not applicable to all. It's not, uh, it's not, uh, it's not uh, written that if I fail, I will repeat. No, it's not like that. Okay, so we have to be clear on that. Do you have any question until now? Please reply. Do you have any question for now? Let me see if I still have. Adham said no. Anybody else who will answer? Chat, please. Aisha, no. Hawan is no. So far, I have uh, 14 students, only three replied. How about the others? Rasher, no. Four. I still have 10 students who haven't replied. Ryan, no. Nauras Alnamani, no. Elin, no. Nauras Alkindi, no. Eight, I still have six students. Kulid, Kulud, oh, you're here. Kulud, did I mark you present? Hanin, no. Asjan, no. 11, 12, 13, 14, where are you? Who else? Who else is here? Amna Al Hinai, no. Okay, so anyway. Mira, no. Okay. So anyway, 11 students, 11 or 12 students already replied. I think Fahad went for a water break. Are you here, Fahad? Okay. So that's our online class guidelines, okay? So everything is still, just read this uh, 17 points, okay? If it applies to you, then just try to remember this. Okay, so our idea as a university is to make this online classes work. Um, uh, some of the students, if uh, you heard this, uh, the problem is connection, internet connection. We solved that already, unlike before. So first is we upload the video lessons through Moodle. As we said, uh, Omantel and uh, Uridu said, there is no data chart if you're going to use data. If you have broadband, uh, unlimited access, no problem. But if you are using data, you can download the video, you can play it through Moodle, and that will be fine. No charges. Second, uh, we upload, uh, we give exercises, we give activities that should not be, uh, that has 48 hours uh, notification okay so notification of 48 hours at least for me I'm giving you via we have exercise at least two weeks okay so but now I'm going to change that because I think two weeks is very long 
Okay, two weeks is very long for me. So the next uh, item. Uh, is reminder for exercise seven and reminder for videos lesson four. Okay, so what I want to discuss right now is that uh, our exercise, our exercise number seven and onwards, I'll just give one week. Okay. Why? Because for the first two exercise, exercise two and three, no change. I mean, like I gave it for two weeks, but still students are submitting a day before or even the deadline. So those are just the two days that students are working. Internet connection, I don't believe. OK, because. Exercises were given. Uh, third for fifth week, I think, or fourth week, okay? So that means third week, we understand. Everybody just started the, uh, oh no, no, fourth week, we understood. Everybody who just started online classes. We are all uh, still trying to figure out how, to, how these things will work. And then on the fifth week, I gave you exercises, but the submission is after two weeks, and the other one is after three weeks. Uh, so, but still, I found out nobody submitting. I was checking this monitoring. So, okay. So, please, where am I? Where is it? Okay. Can you still see me? Noor Aljabri, can you see me? My video? My face? Can you see my hair? Arayan Alam said this. Did you see what happened to my hair? No barber, only my hand is my Bible, my barber right now. Elaf, are you here, Elaf? Oh, Elaf. Noor, can you see me? Because you said no. Noor Al Jabri? Camera? My camera, my video. Can you see it? Noor Al Jabri? No or yes? What's your answer? Okay, so anyway, uh, right now we are on lesson number four. You saw that. That was uploaded last week. I hope you already watched that video. And then right now I'm going to upload exercise seven. So it's not yet uploaded. Uh, I'm going to upload it now. If you want to see how to upload. Cannot see me, but they can see me. Why well, can't see? Me.
turn. Wait, ah. I'm going to upload your exercise 7. Okay, so this is uh, how do I upload exercise 7. We are now in this week. Exercise 7, count if and sound sum if. I'm going to upload the file. Deadline a week from tonight, uh, today. 28 April. I'm just going to upload this to. I uh, update this. 11:59. Okay, due date 20 April 2020 11:59. Accepted file types. I'm choosing the all file types. So you can upload any file type here in our model. Save and return the course. Okay. So exercise number seven, count if and sound sum if is here. Uh, Watch all the videos, lesson number four. Okay, and then I'm going to upload the live session for today here. Okay, so do we have any question? That's it for today. Anybody who just came, I have 17 now. Adham, Aisha, Amna, Asjan. Okay, Bashar Elaf Elin, Bashar Elin Pahad Elaf is letter I in the wave. So if you want to change Elaf your uh, your name uh, in the wave, you go to the RSA once we come back. Hanin Hawanis, Hanin Hawanis. Kulud Mira. Nafsa Nauras Nauras. Nafsa. Welcome, Nafsa. Noor Rayan. We have 17 students. Okay, welcome to all who come, who came. Okay. So last question, do you have any question? Please reply on the chat box. Yes, no, yes, no. As Jen said, no, one, I have 16 students, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. About the others, please reply. I still have, I'm waiting still for uh, eight more students. Do you have any question? Exercise seven. One week from now is the deadline. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. 
three, four, four more students. Fahad, are you still here? Okay, so just please, if you have some more friends, uh, actually it's a little bit disappointing that out of 43, only 17 is going online. So out of 43, and a lot of the students haven't attended any of the meetings. So, I'm a little bit shocked. I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, but as we said, uh, we cannot. We cannot be uh, disappointed right now. We cannot be upset because of the attendance. Uh, it's not mandatory. Um, I will, as, as I also, and I also realize that even in face-to-face, -face, if we have face-to-face -face meetings, like lectures during our class time. Not all of the students come to the class. So what more in the online class? Okay. So anyway, this is not mandatory. Once it they said it's mandatory, then that's the time I'm going. I have to expect students to come. But right now I cannot be. Yeah, but the, I hope that they are doing the exercises at least because that's just uh the basis of the marks or the grades that we will have okay but if you are after really on learning and then the live sessions can uh can be very very helpful helpful uh for your learning process in advanced exam okay and as we all said or this uh, phrase is very popular this thing that we're experiencing right now will pass Okay, this all will pass. Okay, it's actually a verse in the Bible. You know that we have, we're using the Bible. This too will pass. Okay. So, have a nice day to all. Thank you very much for coming. Bye.